Um, all right, yeah, so hello again to everyone. Thanks for joining us. Um, my name is Frank Bosi. I am the Senior Director of Business Development here um, at Hostfully, and I'm joined today by Mitch Foster, who's our Manager of Partnerships and Integrations, as well as Ms. Kelly Brown, who's our Business Development Representative. And today we are joined by Breezeway's VP of Sales, Mr. Matt Barr. Welcome, Matt. We're excited to have you with us. Yeah, awesome. Thanks so much. Super excited to be here. Yeah. So, I mean, as I mentioned earlier, we're really excited to have you and discuss one of the most popular and most used integrations today, which is Breezeway. Um, Breezeway, as well as the top five ways property managers can automate their operations, but also at the same time deliver that five-star experience. Um, I don't know about you, but personally, during my meetings and my demos, we've had a lot of interest and questions. Uh, about our, from our customers and our prospects, um, in particularly in the property management space, asking how they can both automate their operations while at the same time not impacting the guest experience. So, needless to say, this webinar cannot have come at a better time, and we're really excited to share and present some of the learnings that we've gotten from Breezeway and our partnership throughout the years, um, especially in regards really focusing on driving efficiencies. Uh, keeping costs in check, keeping homeowners happy, uh, but also delivering this higher quality of guest experience overall. As some of you may have already read, we'll also be covering pain points around operations, uh, how to use property data to create those automated workflows. We're also going to explain or kind of teach or discuss how you can automate communication with your teams while at the same time syncing your guest communication and operations and of course lastly verify and deliver those prepared properties every time uh, so before we jump into our discussion just want to let you know a little bit more about hostfully uh, for those of you who are not familiar we are an active vacation rental property management software that helps you run your business from tip to tail we essentially strive to help vacation rental companies and property managers make more money increase revenue and streamline and automate day-to-day -day operations while at the same time improving the overall traveler experience uh, now hostfully has two platforms these are both completely standalone platforms you have the property management platform and then the digital guidebook they're both fully integrated, so you're, of course, more than welcome to use both of them together, but you also have the option to use just the property management software or just the digital guidebook. Um, on the property management data side, we have direct integrations with major OTAs, Airbnb, Verbo, Booking.com, Homes and Villas by Marriott International, and a few other channels as well. Um, and really, we work as a channel manager for those OTAs. So hopefully, will be your central software and hub in managing all those reservations. We have a great pipeline feature, which is really cool and unique to the industry. And here you'll be able to see all of your guests and exactly where they are in the process of their booking. So you're pretty much managing your operations in different ways other than the software. Um, we have a really nice out of the box direct booking website available to all of our users. Uh, and also included in our software is automated messaging, both email, text message, and WhatsApp. Uh, we have reports, analytics, payment processors. We have a unified inbox. And of course, our wonderful new mobile app and a whole lot more to help you run your vacation rental business seamlessly. Um, and then we have the guidebook. Uh, this is really unique. It's a beautiful platform where we focus on enhancing the guest experience. We make it easy to share important information to your guest about their trip, like their check-in details, um, directions, house manual, all your favorite recommendations. Again, this aims in boosting the guest experience. It cuts down on communication, but it also has the ability to get you more five-star reviews because you're building this nice rapport with your guest. And you also have a great upselling feature to increase your overall income. Um, real quick, we've also been winning awards. We're super excited, it's been great. We won the Matt Landau VRMB Keystone Awards for the first time. They had it for the best vacation rental management software. And then we won again the year after that as the best property management software to grow with, specifically making us back-to-back -back winners. Uh, and then just recently, we won the Shorties Award in 2022 as the best property management software. Uh, one of the main evaluators, Terry White, as I'm sure many of you know, uh, said that Hostfully is one of the best softwares, period, I've ever seen. Guidebooks, same thing on the guidebook side. Uh, Erica is a client of ours, uh, and she basically had the same view that many of our 
clients have. Here she stated that the guidebook totally blew her, her away. Uh, we saved her a ton of time and the guidebook makes you look more professional than a Word document or PDF. So if you haven't tested out our guidebooks, if you don't know much about our guidebooks, we do have free trials for all subscriptions and also one free guidebook for everyone who wants to just kick the tires and test it out. Feel free to reach out to myself or Kelly for more information on that. Lastly, we do have reports and webinars, obviously. So we're doing webinars on a weekly basis now, a lot of content for you all. Uh, we're excited about that. Um, so not only do we have an incredible platform and a beautiful digital guidebook, but we also have great learning op opportunities and resources with these reports and these webinars. We have a variety of reports available on our website, which I encourage you all to check out at your leisure. It's hostfully.com slash 2022 report. Has a good selection of reports, future booking reports, multi-channel distribution reports, um, just really overall some really great insights. So again, I encourage you to check that out directly on our website. We have a ton of offer you there along with blog posts and articles. Um, lastly, if you do want any information on any of our products, uh, please feel free to reach out to me directly. We are always happy to coordinate and schedule a one-on-one -on -one demo with you. But that's enough about Hostfully. I'm sure y'all are here to learn more about Breezeway and how we can help you automate your operations and deliver that five-star service. So um, I'm going to go ahead and hand this over to you, Matt. Incredible. Thank you so much, Frank. Uh, as Frank mentioned, my name is Matt Barr. I'm the VP of Sales uh, here at Breezeway. Breezeway is a property operations and guest experience platform. Uh, you know, what does that mean? Uh, we'll get into that today. We work with roughly six, uh, 1,600 clients, have 160,000 units uh, being powered on the platform today, uh, and super excited for the opportunity to chat with all of you uh, today. So let's, uh, let's get into it. Next slide, please. Um, cool. So, quick agenda. What we're gonna what we're gonna talk about today. Hopefully, uh, learn today as well. Pain points around operations. Kind of set the scene of of what we're seeing, um, both from our clients, from prospects, uh, around operations as a whole. How to use some property data that you have today, some reservation that, data that you have today, and, and add some automation to your operations. Um, alongside you know, communicating uh, or scheduling out all the work that happens, communicating with your teams as well. Um, and again, all of this happens through syncing guest communication uh, and operations. So um, let's, uh, let's set the scene here quickly. There we Follow go. Next slide. Awesome. Uh, so I love this experience. Uh, or I love this picture here. You know, this woman is clearly totally relaxed. You know, likely just traveled uh, five hours to get to this property. Uh, you know, hasn't done anything at work this week. Has just been daydreaming about it uh, and picturing the property in her mind, what the experience is going to look like. Uh, and that expectation just builds and builds uh, as she gets ready for this vacation. Um, and for these daydreams and, and these expectations to come to fruition um, is what leads to a review like this. So, you know, we had a great stay at Lance and Elaine's condo. It's cute, comfortable. It's well stocked with cooking, uh, with amenities and cooking utensils. Uh, and we really love the bird watching from the balcony. Uh, so this is what I think a lot of people think of when they hear about uh, vacation rentals. Um, but in order to get a review like this, I think everyone on this uh, call understands there is a lot uh, that goes into it. So the reality behind vacation rentals, if we go to the next slide, uh, is all of this. So this is probably what, you know, us on this call are, are a little bit more familiar with. Um, and those maybe just getting into the industry. I noticed a couple of people, you know, no properties yet, um, may think of turning over a property. When I say turning over a property, guest checks out what needs to happen before the next guest checks in. Might think of just this bar here on the left, which is housekeeping. Um, but in fact, operations is much, much more than that. Um, it typically does start with housekeeping. So getting in, making sure the unit is clean um, for the next guest, but it also means you know, if you're if you're having amenities like hot tubs or pools, are you taking care of those? Um, there's likely some small maintenance issues that might come up, you know, both in between reservations, uh, but as well as, you know, when guests are inside the unit as well. 
The fourth one here, we have linens and guest amenities. So how are you getting linens cleaned? Are you using all the same linens and creating some sort of uh, brand standards to build brand recognition? Uh, and then I will talk a lot about amenities today as, uh, as well, but are you providing things like shampoo, soap, paper towels? Uh, is the shampoo, you know, a, a half used three in one head and shoulder shampoo with hair on it? Or is it, you know, brand new, uh, branded with your, with your management company um, and, and really professional, you know, things like we're, we're used to seeing in, uh, you know, a top class hotel. Um, and then the first, sorry, we go back here real quick, Frank. Oh, my bad. Yeah, I just took a quick pause there. Um, the first phone screen that we see here uh, on the right is all about verifying the work at this property. So we just talked through, you know, a lot of, a lot of responsibilities, cleaning, maintenance, amenities. Uh, the next step of scheduling and having this work being completed is making sure that this work is being completed uh, to the highest level of your brand standards. And that takes a lot of verification. Um, and a great way to do that is to communicate what you expect from your cleaners, what you expect from your inspectors and maintenance people uh, in a really detailed way and have some sub level of accountability uh, to that as well. And then the last picture here is, is communicating with guests, um, communicating things like check-in instructions, property info, uh, and making it really, really easy for the guest to see this information. So we have a couple polls before we, uh, before we get started. So we can hit next slide. Um, first one, what is your biggest operational pain point today? We'd love to hear from, uh, from everyone on the call. Awesome. I see some really good um, feedback coming in. And again, just a reminder, everyone, fill out those polls, but also that questions tab is a great opportunity to ask Matt or myself or Kelly or anyone on this call, any question you want. So take full advantage, but yeah, it seems like we have nice interactive um, answers coming in. It seems like scheduling and assigning property care tax tasks are our number one, like by a lot. Yep. In inventory. Supplies and guest essentials. Yeah, I guess inventory, inventory that makes sense, yeah. get some new supplies in the in the property after each reservation customized work at the property communicate with guests none however for sharing service value with owners uh so that could actually be another topic that we talk about i think by having software like breezeway and hostfully especially with our strong integration and if you do plan on scaling and you have your own property management company having these softwares on your like your one pager that you share with your owners can get you so many more owners than if you didn't have those softwares. So it's really important to kind of just talk that you have that accessibility and that automation. Yeah, it's really interesting that comes in uh, at 0%. And I think, you know, traditionally when we think about operations, you know, it's, it's very guess forward. I'm thinking about the property, um, but operations definitely has two clients. We have you know, ensuring the property looks exactly as advertised for the guest. Uh, and then it's taking all that work you're doing and being able to communicate it back to the owner. So we'll definitely talk about, you know, some best practices there um, and how to use that information to, like Frank talked about, uh, grow your property count. Awesome. Well, thank you all for answering so quickly. I was nervous. I was like, it could go either way. People won't answer and then people are super excited. So thank you for that, guys. Right. One more poll. I'm excited about using this hostfully. One. Yeah, I'm always excited to hear about people's tech stack. Oh, there are the emojis. You see the emojis, Matt? I love it. There you go. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. There, people found it. I'm excited. Is there a th thumbs down option or is there, are they only positive options? Oh, let's find out. Oh, oh, oh somebody's crying. Got some tears out there. 
Hopefully it's not towards us in our present. Day. Yeah, yeah. Made someone feel bad about the uh, the three in one shampoo that's got yeah. hair all over it. <laughs> Brought up past experiences. Uh, this one's kind of a, a tie. It's kind of sort of. Yeah, it's a few answers. It's so either none or one to three. I think that's probably, you know, what we expected given the the property count that we've, you know, have on the call here. Awesome. Right. Just so everyone's aware, it pretty much was either none or one to three. Uh, we had a few people say three to five and another saying five plus. So kudos on that tech stack, everyone. And if you don't have any, again, feel free to reach out to Matt um, or even myself and we can you know, talk about tech stacks and integrations and APIs and all that fun stuff. So don't hesitate. Should I move over to the next one, Matt? Yeah, please. And I'll, I'll just, as you do that, I'll provide a little more context on tech stack as well. I think typically what we see is, you know, get a solution like, like a hostfully in place, um, a centralized place for all your reservations, get a feel for what that looks like. And then really think about the other sections of your business and what causes you the biggest headaches and automate that first. You know, don't, you don't need to go out and buy five softwares at once. Start with one, understand where maybe you're struggling a little bit and try to add some automation in that piece. Again, reflect uh, and replete, uh, repeat. <clears throat> awesome. Cool. Let's get into it. So we run, it. A, uh, we run a property operations survey every year. We send it out to clients. We send it out to um, you know, our entire database and, and get thousands of responses. We actually have one uh, open right now for 2023. I'll talk about how you can answer that. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, but these are the results from 2022 uh, and pretty similar to what we, you know, we just saw. Number one uh, challenge that, that folks saw was scheduling and assigning property care tasks uh, at their units. So that will be a major topic for today's conversations. Um, some of the other you know, issues, tracking supplies and guest essentials came in at third. Um, that was the second pain point uh, in today's poll. Um, and then the other one was performing customized work at the property. You know, I think the, the beauty of vacation rentals is every unit is unique. Um, in order to care for that unit, it takes a unique checklist. It takes a unique process. And that can be really difficult to build a great process um, that is unique for, you know, five, 10, 25 different properties, um, which can be a challenge. And, and we'll talk through some of the tools uh, in which can help you make that happen. So, um, like I said, I'll talk more about our operations survey uh, towards the end. So let's uh, let's move on. Thank you, Frank. Um, so what factors contribute to a five star experience uh, that, that we saw on the first slide? Right. Um, so number one, cleanliness and safety. You know, I think the last time we did this survey, uh, this was 70 percent. You know, 70 percent guests looked at cleanliness as the number one factor to book a property. And I think we saw this really surge with COVID um, and it's down to 56% here. And I don't think that's because it's getting less important. I just think the second two here are becoming uh, really, really hot topics uh, in the industry. So, you know, guests are not looking for less cleanliness. They're just expecting uh, even more from you, um, which, you know, makes your job hard, uh, but gives you opportunity to shine if you can do these things, you know, really, really well. Um, the amenities and service piece, you know, we talked about a little bit. I think this used to be, you know, a hotel thing a couple couple years ago, but now real now people really expect top of the line, I guess, amenities. Uh, like I said, are are brand new. So um, we have a partner of ours, you know, named Sojo S O J O, um, and th and through them we have the ability to automatically pack and ship all of your amenities based on your reservation and property information. So things like bathroom, guest count, um, and I think a you know a big theme of today's call is going to be adding in automation. Uh, and if you're spending a ton of time out, uh, you know, buying buying amenities, packing it, delivering it to properties, that's a that's a really easy way that you can cut down on some of the manual efforts you're spending today. Um, so you can focus on talking to owners, growing your business. And then the last piece here is communication. Um, you know, 
Breezeway has communication tools. Hostfully has communication tools. There is a ton of communication tools uh, in the industry. Um, and I think from you know our perspective, what we try to think about is how can you add automation to your process? So if you're manually sending out emails or texts, that's a really easy, low hanging fruit that you can cut off and, and give yourself some time back. Uh, and then the next piece is guest experience. So how does a guest interact with this? Um, these messages you're, you're sending them? Are, is it easy for them to read? Is it easy for them to access? You know, if I get, uh, I think we've probably all been at a property where you get an email and you get a Google doc and it's three pages and, um, you know, I'm, I just got on vacation. I'm probably not checking my email and I'm probably not getting and reading it. So being able to funnel that, the really important information up and, and stay top of mind is, is super easy. Um, you know, we do a lot of texting in Breezeway. It's really easy. Um, and there's some, you know, amazing welcome books out there. Uh, hostfully has a fantastic one. We have one that ties into operations as well. Um, but regardless of what you're doing, guests are going to expect proactive communication. Uh, and it's a really big differentiator and shows up in reviews. I think, you know, I'm, I'm a big traveler. Every time I book, uh, a, a rental, I go and read the reviews and almost every five-star review you see will say something about communication. You know, I, I stayed at Frank's place. He was super timely and proactive with communication. Um, and, you know, Frank's sitting back, he probably sent, you know, six texts and five of them were completely automated and, uh, you know, he's, he's relaxing. So um, provide some automation there. Awesome. Next yep. slide. And even within Hostfully, and I'm sure with Brisbane, we have a ton of variables that you can use. So what we talk about a lot with our prospects is, um, that we like the automation and automation is great, but when automation commute in terms of communicating, when automating those emails or text messages, yeah. if it comes up as an automation, it could also be a turn off. So it's really personalizing or making those automated emails and text messages a little bit more fun, a little bit more branded. Yeah. Um, so it's, you know, that, that also comes up in conversations a lot. So there's like really, that line. yeah really, really good point. And uh, we'll talk about this a little bit today, but, you know, making sure your, your software is really integrate. So if you have, you know, if you're using Hostfully's communications tools, it's awesome. All the reservation information lives in there. So you can pull in triggers from that reservation. So I know exactly what the guest name is, how many people are staying, you know, what they've added for add-ons and the same thing for Breezeway. We'll pull that information in directly from Hostfully um, to make it seem like it's personalized but that's a really good point. Too much automation. We want to make sure um, we're still guest first uh, and being personalized. Yeah, for sure. Cool. A couple other uh, stats here from the survey. It looks like a couple uh, descriptions are missing. So I'm gonna have to go off the top of the head. Uh, <laughs> yeah. we'll, focus on the, <laughs> we'll focus on the, uh, the ones that are showing up here. Uh, managers are saving time, assigning work through efficient staff communication. Sounds like this is something that everyone on the call is, is kind of struggling with. So that will be a big one. Um, we talk about 81% of managers are conducting routine safety inspections with the safety program at Breezeway. I'll, I'll touch upon a little bit closer to the end. And then 33% uh, of managers who automate guest messaging are seeing more five-star reviews. Um, I love Frank's point. I'm going to keep bringing that up automate with some personalization are seeing more five-star reviews. Um, so let's, uh, let's transition into, you know, how we can, uh, how we can execute against some of this stuff. Oh, well, there you go. Look at oh. that. Surprise. The there it slide. is. I should have played is. around with it before I did the webinar. Yeah. No worries. No worries. Did you want to touch on these uh, or did you want to go to the next slide? I think we're, yeah, focus on quality, deliver more guest experiences. I think we're good here. Let's uh, let's move on. Beautiful. Keep you on awesome. your toes, Matt. Yeah, I love it. I uh, can't make it can't make it too easy. Uh, so we're going to transition a bit into kind of how tech can help you with some of the challenges that we just talked about. You know, a lot of this will be from a breezeway perspective and kind of how we think about trying to solve the challenges I just mentioned. Uh, this is not meant to be a breezeway pitch. You know, there are a ton of operation softwares out there. Um, so let's, uh, let's get into it. <laughs> not meant to be a breezeway pitch. And then I, I show a, a client testimonial. <laughs> uh, I forgot this was the next slide. I promise. Uh, I'm not going to read this, but one piece I'll, uh, one piece I'll point out that I actually I actually think is worth talking about is 
in this quote, he, um, Reed mentions, you know, all aspects of our property care. And I think that's really interesting. And it goes back to what I talked about um, on the slide where it had all the different type of work that needs to happen. Um, and if you're really going to compete today, operations is not just housekeeping. If you're really going to compete today um, and compete against the, the top professionals uh, in this industry, there are a hundred, there are hundreds of moving pieces. Um, and regardless of your process or the tech that you use, those individual pieces need to be able to interact and communicate with each other and they can't be siloed. So, um, you know, it's possible for them to be siloed and, and for you to give a great guest experience, uh, but it's going to be much more manual. It's going to be much more costly and much more inefficient uh, on your business. Uh, and just to provide, you know, a couple ex a couple examples of, of what I mean, um, if you're doing a clean and an inspection at a property, for example, when the cleaner is finished, how does the inspector know that that job is finished and the inspector can go and inspect that property? Some sort of automation, giving the inspection team visibility into what the cleaners are doing. Um, another example would be, you know, if a, if a guest calls in and is asking to check in early, you know, how do you understand the status of that property? So that reservationist who is over here uh, in reservations now is on the ops team and needs visibility. So all these different sections of your business being able to communicate to each other is, um, is super, super important. Next slide, please. All right, so how do we execute against this? So we're gonna talk about automating uh, automating some of the, the task scheduling that you're doing today, coordinating other work like maintenance, trash pickups, um, how to effectively communicate with guests, uh, ensure the quality. And when I say ensure the quality, both you know ensure the quality of your property from a, a safety perspective, is this property safe for guests to stay in, as well as ensure the quality of all the work that happens. You know, are these cleans being completed up to my brand standards? Um, owner reporting, you know, came in at zero percent. We'll talk about how can you communicate all the work that you're doing back to owners? I'm sure they are not aware of how difficult uh, your job is. You need to be able to communicate that back so you can, you can communicate your value and it can build um, trust with your owners. Uh, and then if you use multiple softwares, I talked about this a little bit, how do they integrate with each other? You know, we integrate with 35 plus PMSs. Um, if you're using Hostfully, great job on you. You've chosen well. Uh, if you're not, give them a harder look. Um, and, I promise Frank didn't tell me to say that. Awesome. Next, uh, next slide. All right. Eliminate manual work of scheduling property care tasks. So uh, I know this was the number one pain point that came from the poll. You know, 47% of managers feel that staffing and organizing teams um, has gotten more challenging. Um, so please, please add some automation to your tasks. So when a reservation comes in, you're likely having the same thing happen every single time, right? You're probably scheduling a clean, maybe you're spend, scheduling an inspection or a linen drop. Most likely you're, you're taking a look at your reservations, you're making a schedule somewhere, you know, on Excel sheet or on a Google calendar, and then you're manually sending out a text, an email, or, or calling a cleaner. Uh, there are ways to take that reservation, automatically create a clean, automatically notify that cleaner and make it really easy for them to see their schedule. Um, and that cuts down on a lot of the manual communication that you're probably facing today. So provide some automation, um, take a look at your process and understand, you know, what's gonna happen, what, what do I know is gonna happen? What doesn't take creativity and add some automation around those. What's like a, what's a good example that you've seen a lot of your clients use? Like one that like, cause they, one that came up right away for me was every time that a reservation is booked, we have a cleaning job that automatically gets created. And then as soon as that cleaning job automatically gets created, the cleaner is automatically communi it's communicated automatically that they have a yeah. job. So it's that stuff that you normally don't realize that you can just automate and it saves you yeah. a ton of time um, where that time that you just got back can really focus on growing your business. Um, so that was one example that I've, that just popped up in my head while you were talking about it. Yeah. And that's kind of the, that's kind of the bread and butter of Breezeway. We'll pull in your reservation from Hostfully uh, in real time, automatically create a clean, send a cleaner, a text, an email, a push notification of that job. Um, and then you have full visibility into when they've accepted it, started it, completed, 
um, all without doing any manual communication. Yeah. And then uh, if we if we go to the next slide, automate property care, and, and to continue off this theme, um, you know, and we take maybe one level deeper. If you have custom processes for a guest versus an owner stay, you know, there's automation you can you can do between that as well. We'll you know we'll pull if we're pulling reservations from hostfully. We know if it's a guest day, we know if it's an owner stay. We can change the jobs that you schedule for those two different types of reservations. So there's automation uh, even a level deeper. Um, and then if you have you know luxury villas and then some apartments and you want to treat those differently, maybe you want to do inspections at your villas because it's a little bit more complex. You can provide automation there and schedule different types of tasks at different types of units. Um, and like I said, beauty of vacation rentals, they're all unique and your processes need to reflect that in order to create uh, a property that looks like it's, you know, exactly as advertised. Yeah. It's funny that you spoke about that too, because Christian uh, just asked, how is the cleaning automation with Breezeway different than the automation for cleaners available at Hostfully? Um, Hostfully does a good job with it to an extent. Um, but just as Matt said, Breezeway goes one level deeper you know, which one, you know, like how you can automate owners for a cleaning jobs for owner reservations, specific tasks specifically for owners reservations. So you can kind of make it a little bit more detailed and unique. Um, obviously the best way, set up a meeting with Matt or someone else on his team, they'll go through the nitty gritty of it all. Um, but a high level overview, it's pretty much to go a little yeah. bit more deep with that, um, with those yeah. automations. Another great example is, you know, changes in reservations. I know we're seeing it a lot today, changes in cancellations. If a job is changed, we'll automatically notify the cleaner, yeah. change the date and time of that clean, um, all without you having to, to look at your schedule. Uh, and then the last piece I'll talk about here is communicating updates. So as this work is being completed, how are you now communicating this back to your guests? Um, so through our texting platform, if a guest texts in and reports an issue at the property, and your maintenance person is completing that in Breezeway, we'll automate a notification, uh, a text to the guest uh, that this job has been started and this job has been completed. So if Frank's out at the beach and he's wondering if the oven's going to be fixed when he gets back. Um, he knows he gets a text uh, and it creates a really proactive uh, and great guest experience for Frank, uh, knowing he's going to be able to you know, cook dinner for his, uh, his family when he gets back. What's on the menu tonight, Frank? Uh, oh, oh, you can't put me on the spot. Uh, <laughs> I, I, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm, I'm, uh, I'm like, well, I you like got food some time. too much to be on, on that spot. <laughs> Eggplant parm is kind of a default, but that's kind of tough to do on vacations. I love so, it. Keeping, yeah. keeping you on your toes as well. Yeah. Awesome. We can, uh, we, we can jump to the next one. Good old karma, Matt. Hey, Matt, I do have a question for you. One of the questions that we get working with global clients is what languages um, is it translatable into? Yeah, great question. Um, and, and, and super important when we think about, you know, the different demographics that are completing work in the field. And, and the next slide is actually about enabling work. Um, so I think it's a good transition. Uh, but the entire app can be translated into Spanish, um, Polish, Danish, and then we have digital checklists that can be translated into any language. So we have, you know, thousands and thousands of cleaners that use this uh, daily, and we also operate uh, globally, uh, I think in, in 30 plus countries now. So uh, app well is done. absolutely translatable. Um, yeah, yeah, thanks. That's great. Uh, enable work. Awesome. So this is all about enabling your staff in the field, uh, you know, cleaners, inspectors, maintenance people who, who, you know, really are the heroes in this industry. It's a really difficult job. Um, and, and I think this slide is making it really, really easy uh, for them to understand what is expected, for, uh, expected of them at this property. So being able to communicate your brand standards and being able to, to give them a checklist of what needs to be completed um, you know, often when we're, we're giving, we're talking to prospects and, and giving demos, we're talking about a checklist and, and we, you know, mentioned, I'm sure there's a couple things that always get missed at your property, you know, adding those into a checklist and, and making sure that they're going to be completed, 
Um, and then it's also really impactful for the cleaners. I mean, I think everyone wants to know what's expected of them in their job um, and they want to be able to execute against that. Uh, and then, you know, on the topic of we'll get we'll get much deeper into checklists a little bit later. But on the topic of um, of cleaners here, I would say, you know, take care of your team. I think we've seen uh, uh, we've seen customers have a lot of success adding in reward systems. Um that are massively impactful for their, their staff members. So things like bonuses, if a cleanliness rating comes back as a five-star review uh, and tying, you know, the tough job that this cleaner is doing into a great guest experience makes them feel uh, much closer to the work that they're doing. Cool. Next slide, please. All right. So perform professional level work. Uh, without headaches and confusion. Um, I'm gonna, looking at this slide, I'm gonna focus on, so the bullet in the middle here on the right, monitor progress in real time for complete confidence and property readiness. So we can see, you know, Devin here is doing a shower head replacement. Uh, he's been doing it for 25 minutes. Um, this is the type of visibility you can get into uh, when you have folks using some sort of app in the field. Right. So full visibility into when a job has started, exactly how long it's been going on and exactly when it's been completed. Um, not only does it help you, you know, if a guest calls in, we probably, you know, I don't know how often it happens for folks on this call, but uh, hey, can I please check in early? Uh, hold on one sec. Let me try and call the owner of the cleaning company. They'll call the cleaner and, and maybe we can find out, you know, the status of this. Um, getting real-time visibility, it gives you such a professional look if the guest texts in and, and you can say with confidence, looks like the cleaner will be done in, in 20 minutes. Um, provides a, 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 you know, a really great experience for the guest. You can get them into the property early um, and it looks like you're really on top of your work as well. And then, and then you have, you know, really detailed time tracking as well for, for payroll. Um, so understanding exactly how much each cleaner needs to be paid if you're paying hourly uh, as well. Yep. That's another thing that Breezeway has that hopefully doesn't yet. So just another, another reason for you, Christian. Awesome. Ensure your homes meet quality and brand standards. So probably jumped the gun a little bit talking so much about this, but it's, it's, it's so, so important. So here's an example uh, here on the right of our app and some of the, um, you know, photos that can be uh, either added as reference photos. So again, back to communicating your brand standards to a cleaner. Here's exactly what we want the kitchen to look like when you're finished. Um, and then add a level of accountability on your staff. You know, you're, you're paying them bonuses when there's five-star reviews, you've created this great relationship with them. It's okay to add an, another level of accountability and ask them to upload photos as they're going through their job. You know, the app, the app that we have is built to be, you know, super user-friendly, uh, not slow them down and they're doing their job. But if you ask for a photo of the kitchen when they're finished, it adds a level of a, uh, quality insurance that gives you the peace of mind that, hey, this guest is going to walk in and their first impression is going to be uh, a great one at my property. Um, and then what else we have here? We have safety reviews, inspection reports. Sorry, Frank. No, nope, no worries. Uh, I keep pausing on you. Um, safety is a big topic in the industry. Um, shout out to Justin Ford, who leads our safety team. Uh, we do have free checklists on our website uh, that you can download. And basically, it's you know run through your property, make make sure they're safe, make sure the smoke alarms are working. Um, protect against any, you know, trip and falls, uh, other things like that. You know, it's, it's, it's super important. We want to create a fun, uh, fun and amazing experience, but also one that is, uh, that is safe. Thanks, Rick. Yeah, it looks super sleek. The UI is nice. Thank you. Uh, cool. Message guests to deliver better service and experience. So I think the, the big piece I would say about messaging guests, uh, we talked about, you know, number one, adding some motivation with personalization. Um, so automatically sending out uh, messages around check-in time, check-out time, um, make it easy for them to see it. So, so 
you know, for us, it's text messages. It goes directly to the guest cell phone. They don't need to download an app or check their email. Um, it's a two way so they can text back in as well. Um, and then one message I love uh, that I want to bring up is asking your guests, you know, how is it going? Uh, what I mean by that is, you know, post check in maybe a day after a day, a uh, day or two after, you know, is this property exactly what you expected to see? Um, and we, we were, you know, we're doing a case study with a client and uh, I was interviewing the other, the other day um, and they're like, we get more five star reviews when guests have an issue now. We ask them two days after they check in and they respond back through Breeze when they say, you know, property is great, Frank, really appreciate it. There's a small issue. And then we take care of it immediately. And that's probably something they never would have reported throughout their stay until they left a review. But the fact that we asked and we got that out of them, you know, you much rather uh, find out about that on day two versus day nine after they check out. Uh, and the eight, we were able to, you know, handle it really quickly, um, which creates an even better uh, experience for the guests. So, so be proactive with communication, ask how it's going. Um, and then when issues do come up, you know, ex be able to execute against those quickly. Awesome. Is that better? Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me okay? Yeah. Could you could you hear me uh, talking just now? No. Well, we heard you talking. We didn't hear any any feedback or anything. Got it. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you sound good now. You're fine. I lost uh, audio in there. We're going. We're going without them. Um, can't make it easy, no. Frank. It's all part of that. It's just live like, webinars for you. That's why I love doing them. Preparing properties. Uh, the challenges of client and guest communication. So uh, again, from our property survey, you know, number one challenge communicating with owners and guests uh, is the number one pain point for managers. 40% um, of managers are frequently communicating with guests. Um, so how, you know, really think deep. I'm sure everyone on this call is communicating with guests. Think deep about how you're doing it. How much time are you spending on it? Uh, what type of experience are you creating for them? And then 46% of managers find that communicating service value to owners is a challenge. Um, and I know it came back as 0%, uh, but this is a big thing that I think everyone uh, leaving this call can take from it is let's not just focus on our guests. Let's focus on our, our second client as well, our owners. Um, we want them to stay with us and we want them to refer their friends. Um, and by communicating all the work that I'm doing, lets them understand that like this job is really, really difficult and I could never do this on my own. And that's why I'm paying, you know, whatever percentage uh, they are paying. Awesome. Next slide, please. This one. Yes, sir. Uh, so yeah, I think there's a bit of a delay, so my apologies. Okay, yeah, yeah, no worries. Uh, importance of guest communication. So 40% of managers communicate with guests frequently. That percentage has jumped to 75. Uh, I think that's a reaction to what guests are expecting today. 40% um, will use texting uh, to offer amenities and extended stays. So this is a, a really interesting one. Um, you know, are you offering any sort of upsell opportunities to your guests? Um, a couple examples that we see often is early check-in. So it's, you know, usually an interesting topic. In Breezeway, you're going to know exactly when your property is ready. You can automate a text to the guest to let them know. So if they're out waiting around, you can get them in the property early. Some folks will use that as an opportunity to upsell early check-in. Some will use that to just create an amazing guest experience. Um, and then extended stays is another one. So, um, you know, you don't often think about operations as a, as a revenue driver for your org. Um, but if you're able to do a good job in, in communication and you have any breaks in reservations. So if I'm checking out uh, today on Thursday, Kelly's checking in on Saturday, send a text to me and say, hey, the property's open for two more nights. Would you like to extend your stay at a, you know, a 10 percent discount? 
cuts to, you know, you're still going to have to clean the property before Kelly gets in there. Um, get me to extend my stay, stay a couple more nights um, and, and boost revenue. And the same thing goes for Kelly. Hey, Kelly, the, the property is open for two days prior to your check-in. Want to come in and check in a day or two early? Uh, we're happy to give you a discount. So uh, you can, again, provide some automation in some of those situations. 54% um, of guests found communication to re reduce operational in, uh, issues, which is fantastic. Uh, 57, see a faster resolution time and guest complaints through text. I think this is a big one. You know, if you're, if you're going through um, email or you're going through phone calls, you have to think about what happens after that email or after that phone call. So um, what I mean by that is if, you know, you're getting an email, how are you reviewing that maintenance issue and getting it out to someone on your team? You're probably, or what we typically hear is, you know, maybe running it down on paper, entering into a system, you know, sending out a text into a, a group chat. Hopefully someone jumps on it. Uh, and Breezeway, we can have those texts come into Breezeway right into your operations platform, automatically create a work order, notify whoever needs to be notified uh, and make sure we get on top of that quickly, which again, leads to five-star reviews um, and, and therefore more bookings. Awesome, good to hear, Frank. You know, some of these benefits, you know, I said five-star reviews a couple times uh, on this webinar. Uh, fewer guest complaints and questions, faster resolution times, as I talked about, more repeat bookings, um, you know, build some brand recognition, and then more revenue from extended stays. Next one, please. And some of the benefits, you know, I, I think I've mentioned it, time savings, um, fewer internal questions um, and, con and confusion, both about occupancy, about property readiness, uh, huge time savings. So a lot of the, you know, a lot of what we talked about is often happening in a very manual fashion, time consuming fashion. It takes away from your ability to go talk to owners, grow your business and, and focus on your guests. Um, and then fewer guest issues. If you're being really proactive with how you clean and maintain these properties, you're going to get less guest issues. Awesome. I think I, I think we talked about the last, I guess the last bullet connecting texting with operations. You know, this is kind of the reason why we built in a, a guest facing piece um, because, you know, 90% of the communication you're going to get while a guest is in the unit is either about the property. So you're able to store a lot of property information in Breezeway or it's going to be an issue. So it ties into, um, you know, creating a task. So the two really, really go hand in hand um, and then being able to update them about those tasks. I'll be quick here. I know we're running out of time. Asset management. Um, so you're in charge of managing these properties as well as the different assets inside them. So the refrigerator, the dishwasher, uh, and you can actually keep track, you know, talk about one level deeper as you continue to scale, keep track of how many times you've worked on the dishwasher, how many times you've worked on the refrigerator, keep information about each one of these assets. What's the brand? What's the serial number? If you ever need to order a part for those, you're going to have to pay a maintenance person to go out and check what the you know, what the serial number is, uh, just to order that part, um, which can be, which can be costly. So being able to keep this information and then again, back to owner communication. If you've worked on a fridge six times and you want an owner to replace it, unless you have the data to back it up, that's going to be a tough conversation. But if you go to, and you say, all right, Mr. And Mrs. Owner, this fridge is costing you 400 bucks. We've worked on it six times. Uh, I think it's time to replace it. Cool. Uh, quickly shed light, you know, hopefully one of our biggest partners, two systems, um, you know, really do act closely as one um, and information is, is, you know, pushing back and forth between the two, um, which is fantastic. Had to come back to it, feet up, fully relaxed. Um, 
<laughs> no, it's okay. We can move on. Uh, talked about it enough. Uh, and then I guess the last, uh, last thing I'll note, just some latest news from Breezeway. We are holding a uh, virtual conference every year. It's solely on operations. So if this is somewhat relevant to you, what you heard today, uh, it'll be two days worth, a, a huge list of speakers. Um, so go to breezeway.io backslash elevate to register for that event. Uh, and then we have an operations survey that I talked about, some of the data that you saw today. We'd love to hear from you, include what you're experiencing uh, in our data, and we'll, we'll share you know, all of our findings with, with um, you know, everyone who, who joins and, and puts their information in there. So, Yeah, I registered for the Elevate conference. It's, it's good to note that it's free, too. It is uh, free. Right? So why not? You know? And you'll probably get a recording of it. I'm assuming you or, get, yes, yeah. we, um, we trim up every session, uh, and send those out as well. So there will be, recorded. Oh, that's awesome. Enjoy yeah. I'm excited. You have some good speakers too. Yeah. It's a, it's an awesome list of speakers. Go ahead and take a look at that list. Um, um, it's virtual rich. Sorry. I'm answering Matt's questions for Breeze. Right uh, rich wanted to know if it was a onsite uh, event or virtual. Yep. Totally. Uh, totally virtual for now. For now. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Uh, we can hit the next one. I think there's one last one. Awesome. Yeah, just a quick offer. Uh, if you're interested in seeing more uh, about Breezeway, hostfully clients who sign up for Breezeway prior to April 1st um, get free implementation. Um, so really appreciate the time today. Happy to answer any uh, any outstanding questions. Um, but this was a blast and, uh, I, I, I really appreciate it. Yep. And I think, um, what we're also doing is Mitch, uh, he's our manager of partner and integrations. We're doing a push for that. There was some, uh, individuals and some attendees on the call that asked a few questions about Breezeway. So we'll on host of side, we'll be sending them, uh, probably warm introductions to either you, Matt, or maybe someone on your team. Or we can introduce to you and then you can kind of push it over to someone else on your team, whomever's available. Um, we can kind of sidebar and how you want that communication to go. Awesome. Um, yeah. And then Rich also wanted to know the cost of Elevate, which again, complimentary, free. Um, it's a good deal. I went I I signed up last year, but I got the recordings. I didn't I wasn't able to make it. Oh, the breezeway cross. Sorry. Sorry, Matt. Breezeway Sorry, cross. Rich. Not free. Yes, not, go for it. Breezeway is not free. Uh, <laughs> the elevate is free. Uh, we charge per property. Um, <laughs> somebody like that. Uh, <laughs> we charge per property, uh, per month. So per, per unit, per month pricing structure, it all depends on the number of properties, uh, that you're managing. So that price kind of varies as you, uh, as you grow rich, if you want to shoot me an email at Matt, dot bar at breezeway.io. Let me know how many properties you're managing. Um, I'm happy to, sh to shoot that over. Awesome. Looks like you're slowly scaling, Rich. Congrats. Awesome. I mean, we have five minutes. So if anyone has any questions. Oh, yeah, I remember that. day. <laughs> So Rich actually started with one listing and with Hostfully, he was able to scale to four and he's growing now to five later this year. So awesome success story there. Um, 100%. Yeah, for sure. And then now it's, it's I oh, that actually brings up a good question. With Breezeway, what's kind of like your recommend, like where do you see most of your clients? Do you recommend like they have one listing, go for it? Or is it like the magic number, maybe four or five, they may want to start looking into to breezeway yeah it's a great question we see you know we see a ton of interest at the very you know bottom of the market hosts with with one two maybe like the really really type a managers who who want to get a process in place yeah. before they before they grow um or, or just maybe they're re managing remotely and, and need some sort of way to ensure the quality so absolutely at one and two i think as you start to get to five six 10, uh, it gets a lot more complex. Um, and if you're looking to scale, getting, uh, getting a framework like this in there early is, uh, can be really impactful to get to 15 or, or 20. So, um, we see, we see the whole gamut, let's say five to 10, it gets 
really challenging. Um, but if you're looking to uh, ensure quality at one, you know, we have, we have quite a few customers uh, with one as well. That's awesome. Up, up to thousands too. So I, yeah. um, and I also, I think that's why we work so well with you is hostfully is pretty much the same. It's, and I love how you say like the type A uh, for sure. You get yeah. that one listing on one channel, but having that software just makes your life that much more easy right. and just so much more organized. Um, and same thing from one to like a thousand, it really depends on the person, the cost, if they're able to afford it or if they could fit it into their budget. Um, but yeah, that's great. Uh, we do have three minutes. So if anyone has any questions, let's scroll down. Let's see if there were any that came through. Oh, Kelly, you asked some good questions. These would have been good for, these would have been good polls. Like a preferred way to communicate with your guests. How do you communicate with guests proactively now? Those are good ones. That would have been a good poll. Um, I do have a one more question for you, Matt. Just because you know we're talking with Rich and about how he scaled for growth, and we speak to a lot of property managers who are looking for a property management platform to allow them to do that. Um, and so you were mentioning how um, you're able to track job history, like on the refrigerator for. Uh, property owners. Can you maybe highlight some of those things that um, the reporting is useful for, uh, for our property owners who want to maybe um, use it as leverage to get new clients, as you'd mentioned? Yeah, great. Really good question, uh, Kelly. So, so a ton of reporting, um, both from a, a task perspective, so understanding all of the work that happens at your property, exactly how long it takes, uh, all the costs you're incurring, um, from a maintenance perspective, you know, that can be incredibly impactful for billing back your homeowners. You know, you probably have some sort of agreement with your homeowner what gets billed. If you're not keeping track of that information, um, you're probably losing revenue there. And then from uh, in terms of a homeowner acquisition piece, you're going to get a detailed checklist of every job once it's been completed, all the photos that were uploaded and being able to share that with an owner when they're looking at your property management company versus property manager B who doesn't have that information. And this person really cares about this home that you're gonna start taking over. Uh, it's really impactful and it shows that you're gonna take uh, you know, a next level care uh, of their property. Good question, Kelly. It's super exciting for our clients for sure. Uh, thank you all for taking the time uh for learning more about it and we look forward to hearing back from you uh so thanks again y'all have a great week um and yeah thanks again thanks everyone take care